MAT 0028 Test 3 Review Part 4 Problem 22 Factor Completely For this problem you do not want to multiply. In general if it says factor don't multiply it out. If it did not have directions then you would multiply because of the parentheses. So we're going to try to factor. The only thing we can try here is a GCF this one does have a GCF. It's just a little bigger than we're used to. It is what we call a common binomial. So the x plus 3 is in both. We can take it to the outside. That is our GCF. To get back to the line above, we have the x plus 3 outside, so we're missing the x squared for the first term. For the second term, we have the x plus 3 outside we're missing the plus 2. And this problem is finished. This is one that I probably would not check on because your check will take two steps. You would have to do a FOIL on the final answer and you would have to multiply the original. Problem 23. We'll factor completely. This time we have a problem with four terms. Normally with four terms we try a grouping. So we're going to split the problem up into two groups and then in each group we'll look for a GCF. So in the first group we do have a GCF for the numbers we can take out of 4. For the variables we have to go with the lowest exponent and then we'll try just to get back to those two terms. So first we have 4, we want 8, we're missing a 2, we need another x to get x cubed. We have 4, we want a negative 12, so a minus 3, and we already have the x squared outside. So that group is done. Now we'll work on the other group and try a GCF. We can take a common factor of 3, and we can't take a variable on that one because the 9 doesn't have one. To get back there, we're missing a 2x, and 3 into negative 9 will go a negative 3. Then you look at the whole problem. What you hope happened is that you end up with that common binomial, which is now a GCF for the entire problem. We did get that, so now we will take it out, 2x minus 3, to get back just to the line above. For our first term, we have the 2x minus 3. We're missing the 4x squared. For the second term, we have the 2x minus 3 we're missing the plus 3. Problem 24. We'll factor completely. This one also is a problem with four terms. So we will try the grouping. We'll make a group here. And in the second group we're going to include that negative sign. So in our first group we look for a GCF. There's no number but we can take a variable. We can take an x squared. To get back to that group, we're missing an x for the x cubed and a plus 8 for the second term. Right, then we go to the next group. Because it starts with negative, that's a clue that we're going to need to take out a negative GCF. So we can take out a negative 3. Make your parentheses. To get back there, we're missing the x. And to get back a negative 24, you already have a negative on the outside, so it's going to be a plus 8. Let's double check that anytime we take a negative outside. So this will be a negative 3x, and this will be a negative 24. So we did it correctly, and we did get the common binomial. That was what we hoped for. So now that is our GCF, the x plus 8. We can take it outside. And to get back just to the line above, for the first term we have x plus 8 outside, we're missing the x squared. For the second term, x plus 8 we have, we're missing the minus 3. Problem 25, factor completely. This time we have two terms, there's no GCF, we would look for that first. Two terms, for two terms our choice is squares or cubes. We have to look at the exponent and this time our exponent is a 3. So we're going to try to do it as cubes. If we can get a cube root, we will be able to do it. 
So that's our first job is pick off your cube roots. For x cubed it will be just x. For 8 the cube root is 2. So what would go times itself 3 times? All right. So we're going to be able to do the problem. This one it works in a pattern. So we're going to use the roots with the sign of the problem. So x plus 2 makes our first set of parentheses. Second set of parentheses on this kind is a trinomial. For your signs in it, the first sign is the opposite of the first one so that you can get some canceling. Last sign is always plus. Now you're going to take all the combinations of multiplying the roots. So we're going to do first root times itself. That'll be the first spot. First root times the second one. That'll be the second spot. And second root times itself will be the third spot. So first root times itself. x times x will give us x squared. First root times the second one. x times 2 will be 2x. Last one times itself. 2 times 2 is 4. And we're done. The trinomial that comes out of a cube will not factor more. It looks like it will, but it won't. You don't have to try it when it comes from a cube problem. Problem 26, factor completely. There is no GCF. We have two terms. Look at the exponent. Exponent is 3. You're going to try cubes. So we have to be able to get a cube root for this to work. For the first one, for 27, that is a perfect cube. Cube root is 3. For x cubed, just an x. And the cube root of 1 is 1. So it's going to work. We have the cube roots. I'm going to go below just to have more room. We will use these roots with the sign of the problem in the first set of parentheses. So 3x minus 1. Second set of parentheses will be a trinomial. For our signs, the first sign will be the opposite. The last one is always plus. Now we want the combinations of multiplying our roots together. So first root times itself. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. First root times the second one. 3x times 1 is 3x. And the last root times itself. 1 times 1 is 1. This trinomial will not do more when it comes out of a cube problem.